Today, I'm gonna to show you how to download homebrew apps directly on your Wii. So this means you can download them without putting your SD card into your computer. You can just do everything on the Wii. Now, this is known as the Open Shop channel, previously known as the homebrew browser, but it's a very convenient way to do more on your Wii without taking your storage devices out. Now, before we get started, you do need internet connection on your Wii. Uh, I use a wired connection using a USB to ethernet cord. Uh, if you need one of those, I have one that I use linked below because some Wii's just don't connect to the modern Wi-Fi's. But anyways, if you go into the description, there'll be a link for this Wii Brew page for the Open Shop channel. On the right side, just click download and it should download. It's called the Homebrew Browser. You'll need WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract this. So once it's downloaded, let's open up our SD card and then also open that download up. On your SD card or USB drive, whichever one you're using, I currently have a USB drive with all my apps and games on it. Uh, go into your apps folder and just drag the second one, the homebrew browser with the lowercase h, just drag that into your apps folder. And just open it up and you should see these files here. That's everything you need. So you can go back to the root you can eject your SD card or USB drive and throw it onto your Wii. I'll meet you there. Now once you're over on your Wii, make sure it's connected to the internet and go onto the homebrew channel. Start it up. And then once your apps load up, you're looking for homebrew browser. So click on homebrew browser. Now before you click load, this is very important. If you're using a USB drive, so if your homebrew browser app is on your USB drive, the next screen, we're gonna hold B to cancel the image downloading. Now the reason we're doing this is because it doesn't seem to work properly on a USB drive. It might be something to do with extracting the files, but there's a risk of corrupting your file if you back out when it doesn't work. If you have an SD card, you can let it run through uh, because it seems to work fine for that. So let's click load and it should try to mount the SD card first and then the USB drive. And then here, it'll say downloading the images. Uh, it says it's an option, so hold B if you're using a USB drive to cancel it. Now, you won't have the images, but you can still download the apps. So once that's done loading, uh, we're in the homebrew browser. So from here, you can you can scroll and select anything to download directly onto your Wii. Now, again, you need internet connection for this, but you can download demos, emulators, games, uh, media. You can get Wii MC uh, and utilities. There's tons of different stuff you can get, uh, but for right now. To test it out, just like I did in my Wii U video, let's find, where is it? Let's find, yeah, Flap Wii Bird. So let's let's test this out and you can see that you can download directly on your Wii. So this is pretty small. And there we go. Now it's downloaded. So you can see that we have the option also to delete it. So now we can back out to the homebrew channel and we should see our new app. So click the home button and then select return to loader. And we're flap we bird. <laughs> there we go. So let's uh, let's open it up, test it out, see if we can play. Flap we bird, press A to flap. <laughs> Man, this is so funny. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. <laughs> but anyways, you guys get the point. But anyways, that's it for the video. As you can see, you can download games, emulators, and homebrew apps directly on your Wii. Don't even have to take your SD card or USB drive out. Um, it's unfortunate about the USB drive thing, but the best setup is to have an SD card to hold your apps. So hopefully you have that and you can still see the images. If not, you can still see the titles and you'll know what it is. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you'd like to have a open shop channel, aka homebrew browser channel on your Wii menu, uh, subscribe and stay tuned for that. But that's it for the video. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.